Hello everyone, my name is Greg Fagan. I'm doing my first unboxing video. I've seen so many of them and I thought, you know, when I was shopping for this microphone for my saxophone for wireless miking, I didn't find anyone who was unboxing this. So I thought maybe this is my chance to do my first unboxing video. I have here for us the upside down, the Samsung AWX wind instrument microphone uh, wireless system for my saxophone. I guess my other one kind of went kapooey and I was uh, given the opportunity to upgrade. My favorite line I like to say, or one of the things I like to say is that, you know, upgrades happen sometimes for good reasons, sometimes for bad reasons. But uh, it was time to get another wireless sax mic and this is the choice I made so let's get on with the unboxing shall we once again this is the back side of the box the Samsung Samsung Samson um, AWX wind instrument everyone wants to say Samsung I know but uh, Samson kind of like the uh, Samson and Delilah but uh, let's open this thing up I have my scissors here and see what we're dealing with on this thing oh. Okay. There we go. Cutting into the box. Perfect. So, let's take a look and see what's inside this thing. Obviously, you know, you're going to have certain things to look at. Well packaged. You expect to see that from a company like Samson. Got the manual. The owner's manual comes with it. It's nice to see it in hard copy. Um, as you can see, it's, it's packed nicely, and rightly so. You know, you don't want to be returning these kinds of things for damaged goods. Uh, right away, I like to take the receiver. The uh, receiver looks pretty tight. I was uh, impressed, that it, and I am impressed now, that it's, it's actually made out of uh, a metal, whereas my old one was had like a plastic covering. So I don't know if that's sturdier for gigs but uh, it will definitely make a, a louder thunk when it falls down off the PA rack just kidding but uh, here you have the antennas which are in in this situation much better because you can actually remove them rather than have them break off and get bent um, I've got the front panel on here uh, pretty basic you know actually uh, there are four antenna slots, which is interesting. Um, okay. So you have the option of putting your antennas in the front or in the back, or antenna, as I should probably say. Uh, interesting thing, but uh, very solid. It's all metal, and hopefully this thing will last for a while. You got your basic outputs, your XLR, and your quarter inch unbalanced or balanced um, I do not see a plus 4 minus 20 DB whatever that switch is sometimes you'll see so it looks pretty solid uh, no option for the minus 20 DB some of you might know what I'm talking about a little switchy for the different levels of output um, okay there you go it's the unbalanced unbalanced quarter inch output and the balanced XLR output pretty basic stuff here once again, a surprise is the antenna, both for the front, options for the front and the back. You see those two left and right uh, knobbies, knobbies there. Anyways, the receiver looks pretty good. Got some interesting buttons on it, which I hope to explore, but this one does multiple channels, which I'm glad. And it has the, um, yeah, the power, obviously, the channel, and the group, which I assume just has different banks of channels but uh, should be hopefully easy enough for even me to figure out how to use and then the uh, the volume knob here I'm not seeing any kind of a squelch maybe that's on the, on the other um, option but uh, still a pretty sturdy impressive it weighs probably about mm, I'd say at least a pound and a half it's got some weight to it moving along here we've got uh, nice of them to give us a quarter inch cable Thank you so much, Samson. Um, here's the important thing that I wanted to look at. 
the receiver. The reason I purchased this or chose this particular brand is because the receiver is not a pack that you have to wear. I don't want to wear a square thing when I'm on stage. And then, so this is all one unit. It hooks onto your instrument and that's it. So the other thing is the lithium battery. This is the thing that clips on your, for me in my case, my saxophone. Uh, the reason I, I hope it'll work well is my other one was kind of not made very well, whereas this is pretty sturdy. I mean, something as simple as, you know, how does it clip on to the saxophone? I mean, this looks like it clips on well. You can see there's a little clip right there, kind of like a, you know, open and close. Put it on the bell, you know, and it's got like a circular shape, and bam, you're in business. Has the detachable boom mic, which I hope leads to other options for different types of mics. But uh, a pretty solid receiver. It's a lithium battery, so no more 9 volt batteries. I'm hoping that'll be uh, an, a great enhancement for my um, my various needs to use these. Let's look at the uh, reason I bought this. Paid a little extra to get away from the 9 volt batteries. You know, here you go. It's a, It's got its uh, cable. I didn't see this in the description of the product. It's like a magnetic cable here. And then it's got the USB. And then that snaps on and charges right here with the back. So you can see there's like these uh, magnetic things there. And that goes just like that. And it works pretty well. You can feel the magnetic pull on it. And then, you know, essentially that's how you charge this thing. So we've got the receiver, which should work nicely. And then lastly, I don't want to take too much time on this unboxing video. Let's take a look at the microphone, shall we? All right, you see all these different kinds of microphones that are, and how they work, and how they look on stage. And, you know, people can spend, you know, great deals of money on Sennheisers and different types of microphones. As far as the type of microphone, I don't know a whole lot, but it is made by Samson, which I figure is pretty good. But um, here it is. It's got a really nice, uh, what do you call it, like a gooseneck thing with the, you know what I mean, the uh, wireless gooseneck. You can move it around any way you want, which is nice on stage. Take a look, get a look at the mic here. It's, uh, it's a condenser mic. And nothing really fancy, just pretty straightforward. And if you read the specifications, it's, it's supposed to be good for um, sudden bursts of like loudness from nothing, whatever that is supposed to mean. Um, but back to the design, I like this. It's got the thing here that goes in and you can plug that into your um, receiver mechanism. Oops, just kidding. But um, here you go. It's got like a little mini XLR port for that. It's got like three prongs. And then that goes into the back of this thing here with the three prongs on it. And let's see how easily that is to put in. Or how easily that goes in. There you go. Very easy. Very nice. So what we'll be looking at here from the outside is this on the outside of the bell of the saxophone and then that will just like go wherever you want. A lot of saxophone players will put their microphones into the bell and actually the best place to put the microphone is at the top of the bell kind of nor near the keyholes. Uh, some of you saxophone players are, know what I'm talking about out there but anyways lots of options. Kind of a long extension but like I say, it gives you more op options to, you know, maybe mic some of the keyholes more than the bell, which is incorrect if you just stick a microphone in the center of your bell, although it's certainly fine. Plenty of guys do it, but it gives you more of a, an elite option. Maybe I'll have some subsequent videos where I power this thing up, but uh, thank you so much. Again, this is Greg Fagan for the unboxing of the Samsung, or not Samsung, Samson AWX Wind Instrument. And uh, 
and here's to here's to making noise out there and thanks for thanks for watching